Tonight, the pattern which normally holds a communion wafer is empty. The chalice which normally holds wine is empty. We can retell the story of the night in which our Lord was betrayed, but I will not celebrate Holy Communion. We cannot partake of the Holy Communion meal tonight because we are separated. Nevertheless, we can retell the story of the night in which our Lord was betrayed to recall both the gift of the Holy Communion meal, which feeds the church community when we can come together, and to remind ourselves how much we look forward to the communion banquet that we will soon enough celebrate together when churches reopen. In this meal, we see a foretaste of the heavenly banquet at which we will feast with Jesus Christ and all the saints forever and ever. As we fast from Holy Communion, we remember. It is right that we should always give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, whose suffering and death gave salvation to all. And so, we give you thanks as we remember that, in the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Because Holy Communion is a meal of the gathered community, we cannot celebrate Holy Communion together. Instead, we say this prayer, prayed by Pope Francis at this year's Palm Sunday Mass at St. Peter's Basilica. Together we pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. 